Welcome to ProQuest. ProQuest is a provider of article databases, and we subscribe to three of them, Art, Design, and Architecture Collection, the Vogue Archive, and American Periodical Series Online. We'll explore the Art, Design, and Architecture Collection. It covers some of the same journals as the EBSCO database Art and Architecture Source, but it has more foreign and contemporary art sources. It also indexes theses and dissertations, so you can find sources that you can't find in EBSCO. To access the library website from the main CCAD website, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Packard Library. You can also type CCAD Library in your favorite search engine. Bookmark the site for easy access. Select Library Resources and click on Articles. The Art, Design, and Architecture collection is under Popular Article Databases. If you're accessing databases from off-campus, you'll need to sign in. Type in your last name, your student ID number that starts with 2CCAD, and click the Sign In button. The screen opens in Advanced Search. There are boxes for your search terms, and if you click on the drop-down on the right, you can choose which parts of the record to search. I usually leave it on the default setting, which searches all parts of the record. There are also drop-downs that let you choose Boolean operators to combine your search terms. Start with a simple broad search, and then limit after you get your initial search results. Let's do a search for Theaster Gates, an African-American artist in Chicago who does a lot of community art. We have 350 results. That's more than you might want to sift through, so on the left, there are tools to help narrow your search. There's a date slider, subject headings, document type, and more. Let's narrow it down to scholarly articles in English and between 2019 and 2023. That's more reasonable. You can see that some have PDFs, others say check Full Text Finder for full text. Let's try this one that says Full Text Finder. In this case, it takes us to an EBSCO database where we can read the HTML version. You would then save and download it just as you would when using the EBSCO interface. Let's go back to the result list. If you see an article that looks interesting but you want more information, click on the title. Most of them will provide a summary or an abstract, which can help you decide if the article is relevant to your topic. Let's open this one. When we open it up, we see the abstract, but also the HTML version, and a tab to see the PDF. Like in EBSCO, you can translate the HTML version, but unfortunately there is no option to have it read to you. Let's open the PDF. To the top right, you'll see a number of icons, a Cite button, a Download, email, and print button. When you click on the Cite button, use the drop-down to choose your citation style, then cut and paste your citation into your bibliography. If you click on the All Options button, you can save it into Google Drive, Google Classroom, and Microsoft OneDrive, or you can save it in another format like Word or Excel. One cool thing about ProQuest is that they provide a list of related items on the right, so if you like this article, this other one might be useful too. Let's go back to the result list. You're interested in several of these articles, but you're in a hurry and need to save them for later. To add them all to your folder, click on the little boxes to the left of the articles. Open the folder at the top of the screen to see your articles. You can print them out, you can email them to yourself, or you can save them. However, you can't upload them as a group to the cloud. You'll have to do that for each individual article. You can also create a My Research account that allows you to save articles. Just follow the prompts to register. If you have any questions, visit the library, call us, or email us at library at ccad.edu.